And welcome back to Black Renaissance. He is the founder of the brand I Love Being Black. You've seen it on Facebook. He's clocked so many miles, he's earned the title of the escape artist, urging African Americans to get out and travel the world. Kumi Raouf, thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's so good to have you on here. Now, if you're not, if you have not been living under a rock, you know about I Love Being Black. You have like almost 7 million followers on Facebook. So it's an incredible um, social brand that you have out there in an apparel line as well. You got your shirt on here. I see it. I oh. see it. Uh, but but you also are, go, are sort of taking a foray into travel because that's what you've done. You're a traveler. Right. So tell me how these two things intersect. You've got black culture on the one hand and traveling. So essentially, black people have always been travelers. Uh, even before we landed here in the United States, we've traveled all over the world. You can look at the native histories of almost any country and you can find that black people were there hundreds and sometimes thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. So we figured let's revisit that and get black people traveling again and get that trending again. You know, mm -hmm. the black travel movement is huge now. You can look anywhere and there's groups of black travel people, there's meetups going on, there's events that people join groups and go to every year. So it's a great thing to be a part of. And a lot of times people are looking for information, not just on, on where to go, what's popular right now, where is their black history? Mm. Uh, where can I travel and feel safe or feel like part of the right. local population? And where can I get cheap tickets, frankly? I saw, <laughs> I, I've seen your Facebook page. You've got some pretty amazing deals on there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So the number one thing that keeps people from traveling is the money. Mm -hmm. If people had the money, they would do it more often. Oh, yeah. And it, sometimes when they have the money, they just don't want to spend all the money they have in the bank on a ticket. Mm -hmm. So if you can do it for cheaper, which is what we've figured out how to do, and also have a good time and travel with class and have fun and be safe, which is actually most important, then we're trying to get people to do that more. So give me an example of a good uh, deal that, that, that you've seen out there recently. Recently. Uh, some of my best deals were to the continent, actually. Um, I flew to South Africa for $276 round trip uh, from New York. $276 round trip? Round trip. trip. Yeah, oh so this isn't something that you're going to see all the time. Yeah. It's called a mistake fare or uh, more amazing, recently. Though. Yeah, more recently like glitch fare. Yeah. Um, so you don't want to count on those. But if right. you see $600, $700, jump on it. You know, That's those, cheap. Those who wait will miss out. Absolutely. I think we have some pictures of you traveling all over the world. Um, this one, where is this from? This is in Ghana. We did a photo shoot with this brother. I was actually oh, okay. couch surfing, sleeping on his couch. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's one way to save money for yep. sure. Yep. All right. We got uh, Ghana. We got a picture in Ghana here. What else? Where are some other... Uh, where are some other areas where you've had an opportunity to take I Love Being Black around the world? Uh, most recently, we've been going to South Africa a lot, mm -hmm. uh, to Johannesburg, to Durban, and to Cape Town. And we're going to make it to some other cities as well. In November, we were at the Essence Festival in Durban, South mm -hmm. Africa on the East Coast. It's wow. amazing, just beautiful. It we did, we did live streams from there and everything. We had people on our live stream, 150,000 people watched the video, like, wait, where is this? Is this in Africa? I said, yeah, this is Africa. <laughs> this can't be Africa. No, this is Africa. So we get to enlighten people and have fun at the same time. Machu Picchu here? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Wow. That was a fun one. What was that like? Uh, you couldn't breathe very well because it was well, at like 13,000 feet. The altitude, feet. <laughs> way up there. Okay, what's going on here? Maasai Village in Kenya. Yeah, Kenya was amazing. We did a uh, safari game drive in the Maasai Mara. Uh huh. Cape Verde. This is Cape Verde or Cabo Verde. Um, we did a photo shoot there as well. Because a lot of people think that Cape Verdeans look a certain way, so we want to show them. No, this is how they look. Uh huh. Got you walking down the street in Colombia. <laughs> Colombia. We yeah. did a uh, sort of like a million man march. We worked with a, a different black entity down there to do that. Those are some powerful images. Thank you. Um, Indonesia, that is just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, Bali is beautiful. I mean, this will make you want to travel right now. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what are some of the, the travel tips? If you could just give one or two travel tips that a lot of people don't know to hit places like the South Africa, mm. Galapagos Islands. I mean, what does it take to find those fares? And, um, you know, is it are you couch surfing? Can you yeah. find accommodations for cheap? What would you say? Well, you can pretty much do anything for cheap if you know how to do it. Okay. Points and miles uh, is the number one way to do it. Um, I've flown an apartment class on a flight that should normally cost $6,000 one way, and I took it for about $200. If you know how to do it, oh. points and miles, you can do it. What do you do? You, Where do you look? You gather points we, and we miles. We go to your website, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> gather points and miles. You sign up for credit cards that give you award bonuses with a bunch of miles that you can now use on a different airline to take a flight that if you paid in cash would cost you a lot of money. Okay, all right. Uh, I have seen airfares dropping to areas. Like I'm going to Italy next month, end of next month. I got mm. a, a round trip ticket from San Francisco to Rome for like $400, yes. which, I mean, I was blown away. Yeah. Um, but, but we're seeing those fares out there right now. We are, we are. And the good thing about Europe is if you get a cheap flight to Europe, that's now a good um, initiation point to go somewhere else. You can mm -hmm. actually go to Europe and Africa sometimes for cheaper than just going straight to Africa. That is, I'll be keeping that in mind because because we're leaving at the end of the month. So hey, maybe we need to link up some flights into Africa. As All right, well. let's do Pumi, it. Pumi, it was so good having you on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, you want to check out his website now. Hopefully he's got you interested. Traveling.black, that's the website, traveling.black. Get your travel on and don't forget to like the I Love Being Black Facebook page. Six million likes and counting. Coming up, it's tea time with 100 black women when Black Renaissance returns.